Trinity Girl Natural. Hi everyone! I was actually out of the country for like a month. So I decided, you know, after like a month of Cantu and stuff, I just wanted to kind of reset. I've been curious to try scalp exfoliation for a while because you know I'm all about healthy things and people say that it's really good for your scalp and they say like it's gonna get all that dead skin off. I was just curious to see what would happen and my scalp was feeling kind of meh after just roughing it. Daisy, my hair was like roughing it for a month. My scalp was kind of roughing it too. So I decided this would be a great time to try a scalp exfoliation scrub. I think the main thing that I wanted to know was is there any benefit to doing scalp scrubs if you pretty much have a healthy scalp like you don't have any, I don't have dandruff, I don't have serious itchies or I don't have any issues with my scalp should I just try it to get extra healthy or do I need it or not so if you are considering whether you should try a scalp scrub if your scalp is healthy then definitely stay tuned and take a look at this video if you do have scalp concerns then definitely watch this video to see what to do, like just how to give your scalp a little bit of an ease. Of course, don't be too rough, don't do it too often. Disclaimer, disclaimer. I would say that if you have a scalp issue, research your condition and see what you can and can't use because in some cases, for some issues, oils actually make it worse. And some issues, you know, you're okay to use oils. Whatever you usually use for your scalp to treat your scalp issue, whether it's ACV, whether it's a little tea tree oil, whatever, you can put all of that in with some sugar and just make it exfoliating. I know that sugar and salt are the popular ones. I chose the sugar and since I'm a PJ, of course, I happen to have a sugar scrub in my stash. I have this She Scented Nourishing Sugar Scrub that I got like in a She Scented Beauty Box. Like, when I was doing beauty boxes, which was when I was bad. But since I'm not bad anymore, I don't do beauty boxes anymore. I really don't like to buy mystery boxes and then get disappointed. No more boxes for me, but I got this in a box and it looked great. It fit my purpose perfectly and I decided to use it. You can see the ingredients. I definitely was not disappointed with this box in terms of ingredients. The only issue that I have with this box is that I got like sugar scrub and a bunch of butters and I was like, I don't really use butters and I really don't take care of my skin the way I should. So I did use the spray, which I did love because I do use sprays in my hair, spritzes, but the butter and the sugar just kind of went by the wayside. But finally I found a use for it, so I dug it out and put it on my scalp. <laughs> I chose this one because I wanted a sugar scrub and I was like, oh okay, this has sugar. It has almond oil, soybean oil, shea butter, aloe vera, coconut oil, and it has like some lemon peel oils and lemon extract and vanilla extract. So it seems like a good scrub, especially if you don't have any scalp conditioning, you just want to, the actual sugar is the main thing, with a little bit of oils to help condition your scalp and a little bit of like aloe vera for moisture and stuff like that. So I decided, what the hell, let me just use it. I'm going to show you a demo of what I did. It's kind of hilarious because my hair is so thick, like hunting for scalp on this it was like a joke but bear with me you don't have to get it exactly on your scalp i guess if you get it close enough to your scalp that your fingers when you rub it can get to your scalp then it works out fine as well i guess you better see how thick my hair really is trying to find like a line of scalp to show you guys was probably my thought <laughs> but take a look at how i did my scalp scrub <laughs> I'm using the She Scented Nourishing Sugar Scrub and I added a bit of aloe vera gel just to dilute it a little bit and make it easier to spread. I worked in sections just to make it a bit easier but the struggle was still real y'all just dealing with my thick hair and um, I didn't have any product in it and I had let it dry a little bit so the struggle was real. <laughs> but essentially I just kind of parted my hair and patted the sugar onto it or just gently placed the sugar on. I didn't scrub at that point, just wanted to gently get the sugar on there and then do all the scrubbing later. So this is just a video of me kind of going through all my hair and <laughs> trying to get that sugar near to my scalp if not on it. You can tell from my expression that my happy place was gone at that point, just trying to get through all my hair.
so once the sugar scrub was everywhere on my scalp I just gently massage I know it looks pretty fast here but it's sped up I was very gentle just gave it a kind of careful massage to just exfoliate my scalp a little bit with the sugar you definitely don't want to abrade your scalp by being too rough After the scrub, I just kind of put it up again and then went to the shower to rinse it out. So that was it. That was how I applied it on my scalp and like scrubbed it and everything. So let me just show you how it looked after I rinsed it out. So I didn't shampoo or anything, I just rinsed it out. Take a look at this, this edge. <laughs> and these are my results after rinsing. You know, my scalp looked good, I don't know. I was trying to figure out like how I felt about it. I felt like, yeah, I like it. Um, how much do I like it? I don't know. But I like the way my scalp looked. And, you know, my hair looked fine. It was good, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Just some more scalp shots and, you know, my result. I did like the fro that I got. That, that was my favorite thing from the whole thing was that fro that I got from this. I took pictures on Instagram and everything. It did rinse clean. My hair, my scalp felt great after that. It did probably give my hair a little moisture boost because it is basically a humectant and an oil rinse. I would definitely not, not do it again. But in terms of benefit, like in terms of my scalp feeling cleaner, like it didn't run brown, it didn't feel like I got scales off or anything like that. In terms of how I felt, like my scalp did feel nice and it did smell great. I think it had a little bit of something tingly in here. So I definitely recommend that for your scalp scrub because like I mentioned in my scalp massage video, like the tingles does help stimulate your scalp which stimulates the hair growth. So it felt awesome to use, it smelled great. It smelled like brown sugar with a little tingle. I don't know if it was like the lemon oil in there that gave it that tingle or what, but it smelled great, it felt great. And I think it did a great job and it rinsed clean. But in terms of like curing me of some scaly scalp or something like that, didn't happen. So after I rinsed it out, I did go on shampoo and use a shampoo brush. And at the end, my scalp did feel a little better, but that could have been just because of the tingle. But it didn't feel like my world wasn't rocked, my life didn't change or anything like that. I don't think it really did much in terms of medicinal or whatever, but you know, what's the harm? What's the harm in getting your scalp extra clean? Not every day, but maybe at least once a year or something, I could try it, you know, especially with a little bit of mint or something in there. Just give your scalp a little spa treatment. So am I gonna do it again? Probably yes, just to use this. But I did love the experience and I do kind of recommend it. I guess when I run out of this, I might get even easier. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll do it again at least with this and then when I run out, like, I may or may not do it again. If you have scalp issues, definitely at least consult your specialist. But you might want to give this a try and even if you don't, you know, Give it a try, just see what you think. See what you think, enjoy the feeling, and let me know how it worked out for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I at least got you curious about scalp scrubs, or maybe at least you got to see my scalp at some point in there. So that was it, you guys, and thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.